Have you heard about GeoCities today? No. Well, back in 99, GeoCities was bought out by Yahoo for mm -hmm. like more than $2.9 million. Then, of course, you know, things we should, changed. We should say who GeoCities was. Well, GeoCities was like my first website was on GeoCities. Mm -hmm. I think everybody of my generation who had a website can say one of my or my first website was on GeoCities. And it was a big long address, so it would be GeoCities. GeoCities.com slash user slash tilde Robbie Ferguson. Yeah. yeah. So for me, when I was a, a kid, I mean, well, they started in 95. So I wasn't really a kid. But the the system was basically you could log in, you could create a free website, totally free, and it has remained active all these years. So what happened is a lot of software developers and things had created their website on GeoCities, released their software for free to people so that they can download it and stuff, and then they just left it there and they just let it run. And they just it was feeding the community uh, of the world with this software. But then Yahoo decided, okay, well, we're losing money now because people don't use GeoCities anymore. People don't want a big, long, basic HTML website. They want to use stuff like MySpace and Facebook and Twitter because those are also free, but they're interactive, where this is the old-style, flat HTML website. So it's just not effective anymore is the way that I think that they would have had to look at it. So we don't really know what's happening with GeoCities at this point. The domain, of course, still exists. But the service, as of today, now it was supposed to be yesterday, but as of today, if you try to access any GeoCities website, that's mm. all you're going to see. No longer available. So, yeah, you know, part of me says it's, it's old school. It's not really, you know, needed anymore. And not a lot of people use it compared to the 1.1 million people who were using it back in 99. But if you had, a, if you put a lot of work into if it, if you put you a lot a of nice work into website, it, website, that'd be a drag. Yeah. And it was a it was a source of information because it was mm. a free resource for people to create a website. People who, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the underdogs, sometimes just people who don't have the resources to create a real, you know, full out website with a dot com. Well, go with GeoCities, and so all those resources are now gone. But thankfully, we do have archive.org, and that's a resource that will continue to archive the web and should give us access to many of the GeoCity sites even after they're gone. Uh, so you can use the Wayback Machine. Very cool mm -hmm. thing on archive.org.